People often say that small mistakes lead to big consequences. People also tell me I should be more observant. And my little mistake was about to turn into a giant, monstrous, candy-flavored consequence. You know what you just did? Trip. Broke your pencil? It's a pin, and my grandfather gave it to me from World War II, and Winston Churchill gave it to him. Uh, who? It doesn't matter. If you don't have $1,000 to me in two weeks, you're not graduating. The school can't pay for it because we have a lot of updates to make, like Apple games, and the last thing we need you doing is breaking Floyd. Floyd. supposed to do? What could I sell? I have a ton of pretzels at home, but like, who would buy pretzels? Nobody really cares about pretzels. I could sell my shoes, but uh, come to school barefoot every day? Nah, I don't think so. Of course, there's other things you could sell, but going to jail didn't seem very ideal. Yeah, I guess pretzels it is. All was going well. Until I realized I wasn't making enough money at all. Then he showed up. Hey. My name is Gustavo French. But you can just call me Jess. What do you want? I've noticed you selling pretzels. Your skills interest me. You've been stalking me? Well, I prefer to say distantly spectating. Whatever, just cut to the chase. I admire your passion. I'm in a bit of a tight spot here. My supply has been... broken. You ran out of money? Well, actually my mother won't take me to JC anymore, um, and I have this special fruit roll-up recipe, and if you can buy fruit roll-ups and make the recipe for me, I will sell it, and half of the funds I get will go to you. Oh, hold on now. How much money would I be making? As a matter of fact, if we were selling it 50-50, you'd make about $50 a day if we were selling it for $1 a piece, and if you kept making the product. Here's an example of the recipe. Jess was extremely specific in the way he planned everything. He left no detail unturned. The first rule of cooking is you tell no one the recipe. The second rule is you tell, you tell no, no one, one the, the recipe. recipe. And the third and final rule is if it's your first time working with me, you have to cook. You did the cooking? All of it. Let me see it. Look at that curvature. That subtle orange tint, that tasteful thickness, my god, it's even in a roll. I didn't even notice the difference. Impressive. Very nice. I always pay in advance and sell back what I pay, so here's your payment. Pleasure doing business with you. Business was booming. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Be a top man. Did you get another batch? Not exactly. What country are you from, Jess? What? What ain't no country I've ever heard of. Can they count there? Uh huh? Counting, Jess. Can you count? Yeah. Well, if you can count, then you'll know that my payment wasn't half like we agreed. I, 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 I must have miscounted. I discovered through the grapevine that Jess was allergic to spray paint. He would be fine. You're here. Where's my money at? <laughs> Looks good. You learn anything? Yep, I learned an important lesson. I need to, I need to be more observant. Well, I was gonna say not mess with the principal stuff, but I guess that works too. Now go. 
And the last thing we need you to do is, that doesn't make sense. My grandfather from World War II gave it to me, and Winston Churchill gave it to him. <laughs> that made no sense, bro. <laughs> You've been stalking me? Yeah. <laughs> Where's my, where's my money at? <laughs>